There are so many crypto airdrop updates from today, some of which are just for your information, but a couple of these things you need to take action on ASAP if you want to participate. So let's hop right in, starting with Alt Layer. So this was an airdrop that was previously announced for people that are staking Celestia and restaking ETH with Eigenlayer, among other things. And today we actually got more details on who is actually going to be eligible. So in terms of the actual breakdown of the airdrop from Alt Layer, it looks like 35 percent are going to holders of specific nfts then they had their altitude campaign almost 40 percent of the airdrop is going to them but then we've got eigenlayer restakers 13 percent eigenlayer ecosystem partners so think liquid restakers like etherfy four and a half percent and then finally celestia stakers almost 10 percent of the airdrop now they have not announced the number of tia tokens that you needed to be staking in order to qualify yet they say that's coming soon however we did get more information on eigenlayer so these are the number of eigenlayer points that you need to qualify the first tier the minimum amount for the threshold for an airdrop is 720 points at the bottom and then 7,200 at the top end. If you have over 7,200 eigenlayer points, then you qualify for the next tier. However, very few people qualified for these upper tiers and it looks like the vast majority is gonna be in this 720 to 7,200 category. So if you are restaking some ETH with eigenlayer and you got over 720 points, then congratulations the alt layer airdrop is coming to you. And finally, we did get the details of when the claim is actually going to open. So that is gonna be on January 25th, which is Thursday to February 25th. So there's actually no rush to claim this one. You have a full month. So stay tuned for updates on how to claim and for updates on when TS stakers are going to be able to claim. They say that it's only gonna be happening post listing for TS stakers. Not 100% sure why TS stakers are in a completely separate category for this, but it is what it is. All right, next up on the topic of Celestia stakers, you have currently a small window of opportunity to deposit your milk TIA, liquid staking TIA tokens into Demex to qualify for the Demex airdrop and to boost your score for the milk TIA airdrop. So they just raised the caps today I posted this on Twitter earlier today. I can't make videos quickly enough just to keep up with all this stuff, but it looks like there's still a little bit of space. It's 89% full, the vault for Milk Tia on Demex right now. So there's a little bit of time left before this is gonna be full. And if you do want to deposit your Milk Tia tokens on Demex, please do that soon, otherwise the vault will be full. All right, next up we have another airdrop claim that you can check to see if you're eligible for, which is Zeta Chain. Now this was a test net, and the snapshot for this one was, funnily enough, in June last year. Oh, sorry, actually August 2023. So if you interacted with the Zeta Chain test net before August 2023, please go check to see if you're eligible because you might be getting some tokens. Now, I personally am not eligible for the Zeta Chain airdrop and I've seen some people frustrated that the snapshot was such a long time ago, especially if you spent the last few months trying to farm it. Uh, I kind of faded this one anyways though, but I am going to be qualifying for the alt layer restaking airdrop. So pretty stoked about that. Anyways, do check to see if you're eligible for the Zeta airdrop because hey, it's free money. All right, next up, the Rabi Wallet announced their points campaign today. So you can currently download a Rabi Wallet as a browser extension and check to see if you're eligible for any points. And if you import from another wallet like MetaMask, for example, then you qualify for additional points. And the points are going to be based on the amount of assets that you hold in the wallet, number of times that you used MetaMask swaps features, if you have been a previous user of the Rabi wallet and if you earn some NFTs or badges from Rabi. So if you already have the Rabi wallet, it's a very simple process for you to just claim your points. If you don't have the Rabi wallet and you want to import from MetaMask, you can actually still earn a decent number of points and qualify for this airdrop. So I'll leave a link down below. If you use my referral code CryptoCove, you'll get an extra boost on points. Now, the only other thing I'll say at this point is MetaMask is getting hit from every direction with different wallets that are promising tokens. We got the rainbow point system, we got Rabi points, and a couple of other wallets as well that are trying to siphon off users from MetaMask. And it's really making me wonder at this point if MetaMask is not also going to release a token. They've actually been hinting at it for a very long time. 
In this article from March 2022, the CEO of the company that runs MetaMask was hinting at a DAO and decentralization, which usually means a token. Now, this is from a couple of years ago, but if I was working at MetaMask or if I was in charge of MetaMask, I would be in full on damage control at this point, And I would be seriously considering launching a token to try and keep users. I'm still going to use MetaMask for the demo wallet that I use on this account. I have a Rabi wallet that I use for some other stuff. So I'm going to try to play both. If you want to export your MetaMask wallet now to Rabi, you can earn a decent amount of points for that. However, if MetaMask launches their own token, I wonder if they wouldn't reward users that stayed loyal and didn't export and then re-import back to MetaMask if they then launch their own token. So I'm not sure what the best strategy is for playing this. On the one hand, we've got the Rabi point system, which we know is real. And then we have this speculation of a potential future MetaMask airdrop. Who knows if that's actually going to materialize or not. So totally up to you. If you want to drop MetaMask, import everything into Rabi to maximize your points for the ongoing airdrop campaign. Or if like me, you want to try and balance it out and play both a little bit. Okay, next up, we have another update for another potential airdrop that you can farm from the Hyper Network. They have a Galaxy campaign on right now where you can complete a variety of tasks and yes, earn points and NFTs for doing so. Now I'm on the exact same page as everyone else that says you're sick of doing these Galaxy campaign tasks. However, I do think that it is worth it. And I faded the Manta campaign more or less. I got like a very small allocation from doing a few minor Manta campaign tasks on Galaxy. However, we saw that that was a major contributor for the airdrop and they actually use the number of points you got on Galaxy as a direct input to the Manta airdrop. So at this point, I'm trying not to fade as many of these as I can, especially if they're relatively simple. And so yes, I'll throw links to this stuff down below. Really not many people are doing this. So use a burner wallet if you want to and just use a small amount of money. But look, only 631 people are following Hyper Network on Galaxy and only 14 people have currently completed this quest. So do with that what you will. All right, next up, we have an update from the Mantle Airdrop. Now, they have two campaigns running simultaneously, so you could be excused for being confused about this. The Mantle Moonshot campaign completed, and if you participated in the Mantle Moonshot and minted the Citizens of Mantle NFT, then you can make sure that you're eligible because the claiming for these rewards are going to be happening soon. However, I want to confirm that this Mantle Moonshot is completely separate from the Mantle Journey. And in their Discord, they confirmed that the Mantle Journey Miles rewards are still going to be coming next week separately. So stay tuned for that. All right, two final updates for you today. Yesterday, I shared that the Chroma Quest campaign is coming to an end on January 28th. So you still have an opportunity to complete these tasks, earn points and NFTs for the Chroma airdrop. They also just announced today that if you collect all of the NFTs from this campaign, you can mint one final Chroma Quest Master NFT from this link right here. So if you have done that, make sure that you mint the final NFT. And if you have not yet done the Chroma campaign quests, then you still have about five days to try and work your way through it. Some of them are kind of annoying, but you can still get a decent amount of points and NFTs for doing some very simple stuff. So I recommend at least checking it out. And the final, final piece of alpha I wanna share with you today is that if you are not already following CC2 Ventures on Twitter, and most of you probably are, but if you are not, you need to be following this guy. He has the best takes on airdrops. He is, in my opinion, the most legit airdrop farmer on Twitter, and he has actual practical guides on how to do a lot of different stuff. So give him a follow and check out some of his posts about how to qualify for ZK Sync, Layer Zero, Wormhole airdrops, and many more. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later.